Hello my artsy friend and welcome to today's video where we're going to start and finish this little Stone Age sketchbook. Actually it's a simple paper book from Stone Age and there are 12 different sheets. Here are all the different ways of the sheet if you guys want to have a look so the idea is to create some abstract intuitive work on all of them so i can consider another tiny sketchbook start and finish and done and put it on the side also i will get to play with all these different kind of paper now considering the different paper different texture different weight i may be using different material as my base because if you know how i'm working i do prepare a base first and then i'm going on top with mark making and so on so if the base allow is a bit thicker i may go ahead with some watercolor or eventually with some gouache and here i have actually some daniel smith sample uh, color and i really would like to get through it and not just have it sit it on the side and actually using it so i may use this one for the thicker paper but if the paper is thinner i do like to use acrylic usually even the thinnest paper deal with acrylic very well we will see if this is the case and if i want to switch it up i always have the option to use my gouache and this is all I have on my table right now. I may go ahead later and get some stuff, our supply for mark making. For the first page, I'm going with acrylic because it's quite on the thin side. It's 135 GSM. So I'm not mixing stuff this time, so I'm trying to go straight with the color and see what I can get. Also, I will work in a different way because I don't have access to the entire paper. So instead of just have a proper hedge, I will work like uh, in the middle of the paper creating some wave some space and leaving a white uh, contour to be honest i wish i could work on all the paper at the same time but it, this sketchbook doesn't allow me that i will have to sacrifice a lot of space to get there so I'm working with uh, one page at a time and creating a background and the idea is always to create all of the background before to go ahead with the mark making so I will just speed things up at the moment and I'll show you the background as I'm creating them <laughs>
week we need a day, 24 hour getaway. Let's take it slow, fill up our tank, try to forget yesterday. The weather's hot, the beer's ice cold, tie that tube up to that boat. Pack the Eddy, rally up your friends, find some water, jump on. Let's go, go, go and play. Soak that sun up on that lake. Feeling good on a Sunday, fun day. Let's go, go get carried away. Grab a drink, time to party. Feeling good on a Sunday, fun day. Raise your cup, leave your worries behind. Okay, so we finish with our basis, and now we go back and add some mark making. Uh, sorry, my baby uh, newborn is playing in the background and my go-to mark making element are my old pastel and I have some acrylic markers right here and I have uh, some pencil and charcoal and fine liner and a little bit of everything right here so let's start with the first page and let's see what we can come out with i'm trying to keep my design fairly simple so it's also easy for you guys to follow along if you like for this first one, I'm using some uh, acrylic uh, marker in pastel pink and I'm doing some dots, opposite side and some circle. And then I'm using a black fine liner to create some leaf in the center, white jelly pan to create the vein and this gold acrylic paint to add some special touch all around. And then I'm going back with the white uh, jelly roll to add some uh, extra design and this is it for the first page now let's move to the second page where i'm craving some oil pastel i decided to go first with this bright yellow and it felt a bit too bright for me so i dull it down with some pink i'm using my trusty willow charcoal to create some black mark making and then i'm using this new color one in bronze and in tallow green to create some extra marks and then i'm using a fine liner to create this semblance of the rose here in the center and a, a purple pencil to uh, add a special touch and i also add a fluid acrylic in yellow this is the third design and here i'm adding some mark making spiral and circle line in a color pencil and some simple fake writing in the center to have some different element for you and there were just some uh, gold stripe here i really liked my base so i decided to stick with that i had just some white oil pastel to a definition some fine liner uh, to create my tree in the center and i'm having a color pencil uh, to add extra detail together with this gold uh, pen and I'm adding on the outside also some yellow color pencil for the final touch. Next design here, um, I was thinking of some landscape, but still I don't know how to do abstract landscape. It's something that I plan to get better at with the time. And uh, yeah, so the result is not the best, but still it's quite cute and fun to make i um, use a bit of everything uh, um, oil pastel a color pencil uh, and i think i went a little bit overboard because it's just something uh, really new to me that i don't really know how to uh, create and follow a logic but i i think it, it came out nice anyway
this one I really didn't like my background so I decided to just create a very easy element on top of a flower with this neon uh, color and uh, yeah that's it I had some element of leaves and I decided to also have a touch of white and the final touch with this gold Winsor & Newton ink and I splashed it all over the page making sure to protect my previous one I do apologize guys for this darkness but I continue painting the day after very very early morning uh, I have two very small kids so this is uh, uh, sometimes my only chance to get creative uh, I decided to continue anyway just to make sure I could actually create otherwise uh, sometimes uh, waiting for, for the perfect time may means not be able to create and uh, yeah creating just feel good for me so I did continue even when the light was terrible and I'm really sorry it keeps getting uh, blurry but I swear it gets better it's just a couple of design the by the way I really really love I think this design especially came out really cool so interesting and it's just as always a game of fine liner color pencil and some acrylic markers here and there and I play with this different line and dots here I'm also adding a little touch of chalk pastel and then I'm moving to the next one here I'm having a gold pen creating drops round and willow charcoal um, spread it I have also a neon color in pink to add some extra freshness and this is my focus point this white acrylic uh, paint that really brought the piece together I felt like I needed an extra element so I created some leaves in the end and I think it really worked out great I also decided to add some oil pastel just to bring the element together the background together and I think this was one of the painting where I uh, put the most of time and the most of supplies so here we have light again beautiful I decided to start with the centerpiece which is not something I usually do but uh, I like to switch things up and uh, to give you option as well guys what uh, what you could do there's not just one method there's different method when I realized I really like the design in the center I went ahead with a thicker fine liner a micron one to yeah really make it pop and then I'm using again uh, um, element that I've already used in the past like this new color one and uh, creating some square which is new for me um, with a gold pen and some star uh, with a white jelly pen uh, I will show you slowly all of the design in the end so if you guys want to jump ahead and check one by one i will show you pictures so you actually get to see what i created so uh, i'm sorry i had to speed things up i didn't want the video to be too long but i will give you the chance uh, after watching the technique and the method to actually see the final result this is the last page by the way 12 pages of painting in just a couple of days and i'm so proud of it i'll wait at the end for the final result and you can let me know in the comment which of these design spoke to you a little bit more We 
week we need a day, 24 hour getaway. Let's take it slow, fill up our tank, try to forget yesterday. The weather's hot, the beer's ice cold, tie that tube up to that boat. Pack the Eddie, rally up your friends, find some water, jump on. Let's go, go.